Vasily Lomachenko. He might be the best boxer that's ever lived. Of Loma. There's a body shot. Even in the talent-rich world of boxing, Vasily Lomachenko managed to become a one-of-a-kind sensation. Irrepressibly expanding his collection of titles, Loma was the first in history to capture belts in three divisions in just 12 pro bouts. And after a decade in the prize fighting game, he still finds ways to surprise the fans. Look at everybody else like that right there. He can make moves and pivot around. Today, we will review the best works of Vasily Lomachenko, a sweet science luminary who effortlessly moves the edges of reality. This level, I can't think of anyone quite like Lomachenko. He's credit. He's smart enough to keep the pressure on after Lomachenko onslaughts him like this. Oh, there he is. Under his father's guidance, Vasily started boxing quite young. Following the footsteps of legendary fighters, he won the Olympic gold medal in 2008. Four years later, the Ukrainian phenom repeated that feat in London. In, the red corner, representing Ukraine. in 2013, Loma turned pro and immediately fought for the WBO International Featherweight Crown. Good body shot. Oh. Oh, another body shot knocked down. That was a thunderous shot. Without any tune-up in between, he next challenged for the vacant WBO world title against the veteran Orlando Salido. Their contest turned out closer than expected. Now he fires that straight right hand. Well, pace himself, Jim. He can't continue to be tough tonight. Lomachenko landed clean at the end. So it appears. Oh, oh, oh. At some point for low blows. oh, you heard Salido. And spent the remaining minute trying to send the adversary to the black void. As he does have a chance. Space. And Meantime, all of those were on the side where he was sent. Lomachenko is going in. The judges were split and gave the victory to Salido, despite him throwing a dozen low blows that went unnoticed by the referee. However, Vasily had little time for despair since he was granted a second title shot in a matchup versus Gary Russell Jr. in June of 2014. The undefeated American's hands were some of the fastest in the sport, a statement backed up by his knockout abundant resume. Well, there he touched him with the left hand of the body oh. and the right hand! Early into the Battle of Two Southpaws, Lomachenko let the power side fist go freely. Mixing up, he's starting to get countered. It's like I said, he's throwing everything at the same speed. You cannot do that with a guy. With Russell was measuring for his signature lead hook. That's important for him. That's what he of the making career high purses. Loma responded with a series of punches to the bread basket. Don't go to the body so much. And started using the jab to much more effect. As good as they can be, you know. He's not used to losing. As the fight progressed, the flurries became more multi-layered. Counter. In the fifth frame, Vasily launched an overhand. The right hand, and there's an overhand left. Clubbing blow by Lomachenko. And went on the offensive. By Lomachenko this round. He's really landed some solid shots this round. And now working the... In the second half, he was head and shoulders ahead. Lomachenko utilizing his footwork. The American tried to push back. A lot of punches. Whether they're all getting in remains to be seen, but... But walked into right hooks. Couple rounds. Now in a right oh. hook. And found himself on the ropes. Both of them attacking the body. Now Lomachenko going upstairs with that left uppercut. Action picking up here. Punches by Lomachenko. And I, I love the way Lomachenko changes the angle inside. And he likes to... Loma was in complete control and simply could not miss. Good point. Oh, okay. you... Look a little bit more fatigued. Oh, no shots there was was Russell was lucky not to end up collecting his teeth on the floor. 24 fights, say what you want. Terrific performance for Lomachenko! As a result, Vasily won a decision and left the arena with his first major belt after only three pro matches. In the appearances that followed, Lomachenko kept doing what he does best, find gaps in the enemy's armor. Big punches did not uh, get Lomachenko out of it. And what's instructive about those 32 punches, the number of punches thrown by Rodriguez has yes, left up the right hooks. Ten. And that one. And never stopped entertaining the audience in the process. Oh, 
здорово. Снизу и сбоку. Какая атака. Здорово. And yet he outshined himself in title defense number three. The journeyman Romulo Koasicha quickly forgot that Lomo was just a man. Koasicha has been doing a lot of walking away. And now here comes Lomachenko with the right hand. Koasicha. Entering God mode, Vasily openly mocked the adversary. You gotta have somebody to come up to give them a reason to say, oh, he be bombarded the opponent near the ropes like a punching bag. But of course, they would love him. Over oh, Pacquiao already. So it's 1 1. Sicha fight back. Gutty, gutty fighter. Romulo Koasicha doing the best he can. Threw from so many unorthodox angles that the Mexican's head started spinning. His feet are like that. He can be quicker than everybody else, like that right there. He can make moves and pivot around. He can do anything. I, I find Lomachenko very entertaining. I think this stuff is really entertaining. How he got to this moment in this fight. So far. And turned up the absurdity to an extreme degree. Probably thinking, you go try it. The he's produced as a professional fighter had been with body shots. Thunder's right hook, Jim. Pound for pound, just as hard as it. In the 10th round, Loma pulled out the nine. We can talk a lot about how he's learned his way into this position, yes. but. And Kosic is done. Vasily unleashed a barrage of body shots for the finish, and Koasicha was left writing letters to the UN for Loma's bullying to be banned by the Geneva Convention. Lomachenko was out of worthy contenders after such a performance, and jumped up to junior lightweight. Roman Martinez, with a record of 29-2, was called to surrender the WBO belt in June 2016. Vasily controlled the flow of the contest from the jump and utilized the left hand more often. Beat you to the punch every time. Like that. Yep. Straight left hand down the middle. He's been landing that. He set the arena ablaze with spectacular trickery. He gets a little splash on it. <laughs> and also actively worked the opponent's midsection. Metronome regularity since the beginning of the fight. The Puerto Rican would bite back occasionally. Lomachenko punished him without delay. I think Lomachenko's popularity as he's whitewashing. And was constantly bothering Martinez with a cross. A short arm punch. Oh, good left one. Right to your heart, Shadow. In the fourth frame, Vasily was going to town to all levels. During the break, he received instructions from his father. And executed perfectly in the fifth round. Interested in pursuing the power. Better punching power, I think, than Lomachenko. But Lomachenko is a more explosive athlete. Oh. Well, that was pretty explosive. Over. What a right hook. Over. What a sensational right hook. Martinez managed to digest the overhand, but the uppercut with the right hook was too heavy on the stomach. Of athlete. Oh. Lomachenko then proceeded to dominate Nicholas Walters. Vasily was paid his first million for beating the undefeated Jamaican, and he earned every penny. You know, it's his time as an amateur fighter. His work output is increasing from all areas. Look at. Nicholas was mentally exhausted by the humiliation and quit before the eighth lap got going. Russell, who has incredible speed, and it turned out in the fight and their exchanges. Walters is completely confused. And Lomachenko's only picked up. tied up again. Lomachenko pulls up Nick shoots. Walters quit the sport for seven years as a consequence, while Loma became the boxer of the year. In April 2017, Jason Sosa was sacrificed at the altar of Vasily's second title defense. The WBA champion got hurt to the body early. So in effect, Lomachenko needs to be saved from himself. Sosa's mobility diminished by the minute, and Lomachenko went full-on berserker with remarkable combos. Not yet. His circular footwork was even more overwhelming in open space. I can't not think at this, of anyone. Not at this level. I can't think of anyone quite. Loma was blatantly showing off. Something new. 
With the fights that he had on his resume, you would think. Jason Sosa talked trash to him at the end of the last round. Lomachenko is... Sosa struggled under heavy fire until the ninth round came to a close. And I think there's a little yeah. bit of mercy there exactly. that he's throwing out. Think exactly. He is mercy. showing mercy. It wasn't much longer until the inevitable capitulation. Lomachenko! Vasily spent the rest of 2017 clearing out the division. Going easy not to scare off another contender, Loma gave the man a chance to prove himself. You come to me. Look at this. Loma waving him in. Wide right hand for Marion. But a couple of knockdowns dissuaded the poor fella for good. As opposed to Charles Costi. Did Loma Shankle seize? Bolos up that left hand before firing it off and a knockdown scored. That in a is way that gives people a show. The unbeaten Guillermo Rigondeau from Cuba also got in hot water. The two-time Olympic gold medalist was totally helpless and only lasted 18 minutes. Rigondeau says that he's taken all the risks he could ever take. Oh, and watch it. Put a notch in the belt. And now he's dealing with it perfectly here against Rigondeau. And you can see he's getting a little... As soon as the first half was over, he surrendered in the corner. And Lomachenko! Two years into his junior lightweight career, no one wanted to fight Lomachenko, and in 2018, he moved up to lightweight. The warm welcome was provided by Jorge Linares, who had defended the WBA and the ring belts three times. A highly touted heavy hitter, Jorge was on a winning streak of 13. There it is. Oh, got him again. The Venezuelan delivered the action once again. The bigger of the two, Linares was waiting around and looking for big counters. He added some power punches on the front foot. The way in yesterday. And give Golden Boy, Mr. Honda, his father, Anatoly, who's by his side too. And punished the torso. And he comes behind the promoted exclusively for many years by Mr. Honda. Tokyo. Distant range right there. The quicker Lomachenko worked the long game and invested into the midsection. The best in Lomachenko to make it happen. Good At some moment, Vasily injured his right hand. See, here's the beauty of Loma as defensive prowess that we He was forced to minimize its use, focusing primarily on landing the left. There's a split the guard left hand from Lomachenko. Now he gets into the pot. Good body work and a combination. Jorge stuck to the plan and managed to outstrike Vasily numerically. A little bit Loma's gonna have his way with him. Maybe Linares is getting... In response, the Ukrainian put the right hand back to work. Tried to come with that right uppercut. Having picked up the pace, he decided to engage in exchanges more. And wants to be outside in this case. Yeah. In the sixth frame, Lomachenko was chasing the opponent too much and walked straight into a big right. Good work from Lomachenko. Hey, if I told you to say... Oh! Linares caught him! Lomachenko goes down! For the first time in his career, he got knocked down. Loma recovered quickly, yet Linares felt a rush of adrenaline and started firing away. And what he's capable of. Bigger, stronger, the belt. Blocking that uppercut was Lomachenko, then coming in. From the eighth round on, both bit down on their mouthpieces and went at it. Good comedy. Lomachenko. Look at him place that jab. Jorge was able to keep up all the way to the 10th. Swing back towards Lomachenko. However, Vasily focused on the liver, and Jorge's enthusiasm dissipated instantly. Picture perfect body shot by Lomachenko not only crushed the foe, but also set a historic record. In a span of just 12 performances, he managed to capture championship status in three weight classes. Lightweight. Champion of the world! Vasily successfully defended the throne on three more occasions. Performance here! And it's for the great Lomachenko to work here! Second knockdown! Conquered the number one spot in pound for pound rankings. Remember yesterday we met with him and he goes down! Oh, the hook floors him! And claimed the WBC and WBO crowns. 
thus cementing his status as the unified king of the division. Due to the pandemic, Loma got the chance to become an undisputed champion only in 2020. The IBF title holder, Teofimo Lopez, didn't waste time from the get-go and made it very close across all 12 rounds. It doesn't look like it's working right now, but it's still a right hand. Oh, and there's a left hand from Lomachenko. And now he comes into the pocket and they're exchanging. Lomachenko's best offensive surge of the... Feeling controversial scorecards coming, Vasily upped the intensity to drop Lopez. Number 11, you think to him immediately. Closing that gap, a short left hand and overhand right as well. But it was too late. But he's willing to get hit so he can get his... The war to start a 12th round, but it's just them. Teofimo held strong and kept throwing until the bell rang. Of a very, very close fight that will head to the scorecards to decide it. Well done. When points were added up, Lomachenko lost his belt by judge's decision. My jokes were bad. A year later, the modern day Neo came back with a TKO against Masayoshi Nakatani. Oh my goodness. His corner shot. Then he proved he still got it versus Richard Comey, a former champ with 27 knockouts and 30 wins. Short left hand, this fight now. Loma was uncharacteristically restrained at first. There it is again, straight right hand from Richard Comey. Throws it right down to the body. Come in, rough him up a bit. And they believe that Beautiful. doesn't like. But soon accelerated and got back on track. He comes back down here. Good round of action here. Oh, oh. Comey heroically withstood the assault for six rounds. Oh, beautiful counter. While Vasily was floating and gliding, unleashing every combination imaginable. Game each and every minute of this fight for as long as it lasts. <laughs> In the seventh frame, he finally cracked the opponent's defense. Lomachenko called on the rival's corner to wave it off. They refused, and Loma was forced to continue rearranging the counterpart's face. From that moment on, the Ukrainian was no longer worried about the result, more so about not putting Comey in a coma. In the final third of the contest, Richard started showing signs of life. But again, it gets wild. Nevertheless, he was not destined to catch Vasily. The body language of this, the trainers and the team in the corner, and it was like... Ooh, oh, beautiful. Left hand once again connects for Lomachenko. Everything looks dramatic. Following 12 rounds of beatdown, Richard's consolation prize was leaving the ring by himself. With the right hand. And he's still doing Down to the body with the left hand. There's the uppercut that his father was looking for. Just miss it. Yeah. They said he's done. The one-sided performance won Lomachenko a minor WBO belt and the chance to re-enter the title race. Vasily is now 35, not a spring chicken for smaller weight classes. Soon you will face the undisputed king of the lightweights, Devin Haney, whom all experts see as a huge favorite. No matter how it goes down, Loma has already secured a place in the Hall of Fame with his unique Matrix style. And look at this, look at the way he moves. He conquered three divisions in a record short time, making veterans look like amateurs. The more explosive athlete. Oh. We hope that the Lomachenko highlight parade is far from being over. Those 32 punches, the number of punches thrown by Rodriguez has left up the right side. Right in the center of the ring. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more pugilistic magic, punch the like button, subscribe to the channel, and vote for sport. Good body shot. Oh, that was a thunderous shot.